Hey guys, welcome to my first episode of Sales Crimes. This is where I take the role of an innocent prospect and I call up a company, speak to their sales department and then allow the salesperson to pitch me and then I witness the sales crimes before my very eyes or ears, whichever you decide to choose. And then I give you some feedback on what they should have done rather than commit those heinous sales crimes. So um, this particular company, no, not that one, this way. Uh, this company that I've called up is an IT training company and I'm inquiring about their cybersecurity program. I want to make a career change because I want to earn more money and uh, let's see how this salesperson does. Hello, John, you Hi. Yes, um, you've inquired about the cybersecurity career opportunity? Yes. Uh, I'm in management at the moment. Okay. And have you worked in IT before? Uh, many years ago when I was like 21. Okay. So why are you looking to make the uh, transition back to IT? Uh, good question. Um, I think I want to increase my earning um, uh, abilities and I'm seeing that the opportunities are there to earn up to 100k um, so yeah that, that's why I'm looking into that actually I did IT I did like first line support when I was like 21 and then moved away from it um, but I'm seeing because yeah it was very difficult because IT got a bit saturated and was, there wasn't much earning potential but now I'm seeing it come back again so I'm intrigued to find out more and uh, potentially move into the, uh, into a career. Okay. Um, how, how long did you spend in first line support? A couple of years. Right, okay. And that, did you mind me asking how long ago that was? That's a long time ago. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm... So he, he had a quite a good start. He asked why I wanted to make that career change. But what he hasn't done is... He hasn't dived deep into that answer that I provided him. So he hasn't asked, how much am I on now? And he hasn't asked, why is that 100K a year important to me? What's the whole point of it, right? These are really, really important questions in order to really tap into what my intentions are, what my reasons are. And, now, and then he just moved in. Now what he's trying to do is trying to work out my experience within the IT industry without really understanding what's behind the why. I'm 40 now. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, unfortunately, um, John, you would have to start right back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I thought that anyway. <laughs> Did you catch him use that term? Unfortunately, you have to start right at the beginning. Why would you frame that in a negative way? I mean, do you want me to get onto the course or not? What if I actually said at that point, hey, well, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. I'll give this a miss then. Bye. What if I said that? Surely you must have more skills than that. I mean, what he should have said is something like this. He should have said, well, that's, that's okay, John, because we've got our programs designed exactly for people in your situation that don't have any IT experience. That's what you should have said. Not unfortunately. Boy. I mean, why do companies do this? Why do they put people on the front line representing their company that are just blowing sales deals, you know, burning leads left, right, center? It's just unfortunately. <laughs> it's just nuts. Yeah. Um, so people that go into cybersecurity, the entry level of cybersecurity, um, tend to have about um, two years networking experience. Mm -hmm. So obviously you need to, you know, get back to that sort of level in networking mm -hmm. um, before going into cyber security. Mm -hmm. So what this program does is provide people with the training and the exams to go back or start the detection. Mm -hmm. um, and then through the two year process provide them the additional courses and exams be able to go into a cybersecurity role um, at the end of two years. Okay. The um, cost for the courses and exams is... 
So he's moved into cost, and we're going to shortly move into the what the course looks like. But he hasn't really understood me. He hasn't really understood what's motivating me, what's really important to me. He hasn't gone inside my head to find out what my motivators are. Not at all. Zero. Mm-hmm. Um, that includes um, your first job role um, as a technician, and then secondly, um, uh, the cyber role, once you've completed those exams uh, and got that experience behind you. Right. So you would, so this is a two-year course, do you say? Yeah, we give you two years access, um, because like I said, it's generally a two-year process mm-hmm. for people um, going into IT and getting that networking experience before going into cyber. Mm-hmm. So we give you two years access. If you want to complete the training before that, that's entirely down to you. But it just all dovetails nicely if people do do it. Um, you know, in the, the cyber security training in the second year. Because it's, it's a lot to take on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the first year, is that you find me a job placement? Is that, is that how it works? Uh, well, we, we would assist you. Um, we wouldn't necessarily go out and find you a role. Yeah. Um, but um, we would assist you in finding roles. I mean, we do have partnerships in place um, across the UK. Mm-hmm. So if at that time, when, once you've um, completed your training, there's something available, then, yeah, of course, we'll put you forward. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, it's a case of um, us helping you as much as you're helping yourself. Right. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. Um, ha- ha- what's the course look like, then, over the two years? So it's the CompTIA A+, plus modification. <laughs> So the hardware and software aspect. Mm-hmm. Then you have the CompTIA Network Plus, and you've got your networking uh, qualification. Mm-hmm. Um, then the third exam is the CompTIA Security Plus, mm-hmm. and the fourth is the CompTIA Cyber Security Plus. Mm-hmm. Okay. And after the two years, um, and I pass all those exams, what's my earning potential? Mm-hmm. So you'd be looking at approximately 35k. Okay. Okay. Um. So remember, my objective is to get on a program that will get me the qualifications so that I eventually I have the qualifications that will allow me to earn up to 100,000. 100,000 a year. That's with the year's experience, I take it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in the technician role, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, and how is the course delivered? It's all online and it's all self-paced. Mm-hmm. So um, you can just log on and train whenever you have the time. Okay, okay, cool. Um, and is that it? Is that it? So when I've done those two years, I can work in cybersecurity, basically. That is that it? Yes. yes. Okay. So where does, like... The earning potential to get 100k, how does that sort of develop? There you'd be looking like a, something like a chief information security officer mm-hmm. or ethical hacker. Mm-hmm. Does this course so, cover yeah. those abilities? To... No. Oh. no they're, they're, they're further courses and exams. Right, okay. Um, so can I take those from day one or I have to get this one done out of the way? Again, with, with um, the Particularly the ethical hacking course, mm. um, is about having the networking experience. Right. So, so what we recommend to people if they're looking to, you know, get into that area of security, is that they do this course um, and then move on to the ethical hacker. We have had some people that have purchased all of it in one go. Mm-hmm. Um, so they get the ethical hacker course as well. So they've got the cyber security. Uh, security plus and then the ethical hacker they're fully qualified you know at the end of the two years oh so you can do all of that in two years yes yes of course yeah okay so (laughs) so why why didn't you talk to me about that before and the way he says like yes yes well why didn't you tell me that before because what he's doing here he's not giving me a solution to my problem he's giving me what he thinks i should do right so let's continue how much is all of that then so now I ask him, well, hold on. So I thought I understood. You can tell that I was taken aback when he said, no, that you have to do some more stuff. But now I'm asking, 
okay, so then how much is it to do all of that stuff so I can get to where I want to get to? Where do I want to get to? I want to get to a place where I can earn 100K a year. Uh, that would be 4,495 pounds. Okay, okay. Do, do you do payment plans on stuff like that? Yes, we do. So 4,995 pounds for the whole program for me to get to where I want to get to. Now, imagine... I didn't ask that question. Will this give me the qualifications and the certifications to work in, within the cybersecurity world and to, uh, to take up positions that can earn me that six-figure salary? Imagine I didn't answer that question, ask that question, and I put the phone down, and let's say I even port, purchased this program at 2995. That is 2,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds that has been left on the table because of this salesperson. Now, let's just say, let's just think about this for a second. Let's say that you get a couple of those people during, let's say during the week, you get a couple of inquiries that's very similar to mine and they're willing to do the whole course, pay up front so that they can feel secure that they're gonna get those qualifications. So that's, that's 4,000, that's 4,000 pounds a week that's been left on the table times that by four, that's 16,000 pounds a month, times that by 12, that is 192,000 pounds. That's probably about $250,000 or something like that. But they are losing, they are losing almost a quarter of a million dollars a year, like just under 200,000 pounds a year because of this salesperson. So not only are they paying this salesperson a salary to literally just answer the phone and become a, he's basically a glorified customer, sales, customer service salesperson. He's not a salesperson at all. He's a customer service person. He's a glorified customer service person on the phone. Not only are they paying him a salary, probably paying 20,000 pounds a year or 25,000 pounds a year, um, but they're paying him to hemorrhage the company money. So the company could be using losing hundreds and thousands of pounds a year because he's not doing his job right. Shocking. Shocking. Yes. yes. Because it's um, over a two-year period, then we will um, spread the payments over two years, provided you're eligible for a finance application. Oh, besides the company losing money, I'm also losing as a prospect, as a client, because I'm, I, if I didn't ask that question, I could have been missold. You could have undersold me. Um, you could have undersold me the actual product that I wanted. So again, there's a cost to the company. There's also a cost to the client because they're not getting the solution that they're looking for. Yeah. So once you pay the deposit of 10 cents, it works out approximately 187 pounds per month. Right, Maybe okay. Two years. Okay, because I'm kind of interested in the whole thing. Yeah, I, I don't want to, I just want to be qualified within the two years for the whole thing, yeah. Yeah, and you would have known that if you listened to me from the start. I made it very clear that my objective for the career change is so that I can earn those six figures. Okay, cool. All right, well, look. Um, I need to pop something in an email for you. Yeah, please, yeah. Please do that. Okay, I'll, um, I'll do that shortly for you, John. Great, all right, thanks a lot. Uh, bye, bye. I'll just pop an email to you. I mean, this has to be one of the worst salespeople I've ever listened to. What about, how about I give you a call? I'll send that information to you and give you a call back. I mean, this is like sales 101 to arrange a call back. What if you never hear from me again? What if I go to another company and buy from them? So, so folks, like you can listen to this. You, you, you're witnessing this, that there's so many sales crimes here. Um, we've got the sales crime of using negative terms. We've got the sales crime of underselling to the prospect. Um, and we've also got a very, very petty crime, uh, which is not arranging a callback. So this guy here, honestly, you know, he deserves at least five, five to 10 years uh, imprisonment in sales prison. I hope you enjoyed that. Look out for my next video, which will come out soon. 
and uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below if you would have spotted those things or maybe you spotted something that I didn't. Until next time, catch you later.